One of the big things that's happening across all of the United States and the whole state of Connecticut is the adoption of the Next Generation Science Standards. It used to be where we would like give information or then we would give an activity or an example for students to demonstrate that this is, yes, this is how it happens. Now it's, we give them something and we say, well, what is that all about? And ask them to try to figure it out. This really empowers teachers to help students learn how to do something with the knowledge and to create something new or to innovate or to solve of a problem. It's a little bit of a different shift in our mindsets as well. The focus isn't on what we know, it's how do we figure it out. When kids see a puzzling phenomena and actually don't understand it, they're driven to want to learn the answer and then that enthusiasm in the classroom makes coming in here so much fun because we're all trying to figure it out together. At the beginning of Phenomenas, we ask a bunch of questions and about what we're wondering about the topic. So we do experiments based on what we want to know about the subject. Yeah, it makes it easier for us to understand what we're learning because then it's our learning, it's not our teachers telling us what we're learning. This enables us to teach kids how to think as opposed to how to know. The standards actually push for that. No longer do we have standards where it's completely content focused. It's actually skill based. Like a scientist or an engineer who asks questions and sees something puzzling and confusing and tries to figure out like, what is that about? Or I have a problem and I need to do something to fix it. The other one was what? Get your assignment and post Yes. One of the things that I think I'm going to be there. Oh, this so you'll see in this classroom there's Ask Away Alley, and these are all of the questions that students have generated around the phenomena they're studying. So they're studying sound and vibration and how the ear works and all of the physics behind it. And these are all of the questions that the kids have asked, and we've grouped them into big categories. We have phenomenal teachers in this district, and they not only dive into what is good for kids, but they continue to learn and grow and push themselves as professionals. So I actually love this. Everyone is having so much fun. Because it, back in the day when I used to lecture and give notes, some kids were able to regurgitate that back to me. Some had no idea what I was talking about. I feel like it has brought the curiosity back into science. It's breaking down walls and preconceived notions about who's good at science. And so that whole shift has been something that I absolutely have seen have such a positive effect on the students. Well, anyone who's curious is good at science. They're enthusiastic to come in here. They want to figure something out rather than have a teacher give them everything. To them, that's not as much fun. And when teachers see that kids are revved up and having fun and asking questions and coming up with stuff that they can do, it's energizing. I think it's an exciting shift for teachers. We've been working on student self-directed learning for quite some time, and so I think this is just one more step in that direction. We have a lot of choice when it comes to the experiments that we do, and our experiments are our learning instead of being given information to do our experiments about. It's really what we've discovered and what we've learned about, so it really helps benefit us in the long run.